<clears throat> hey guys welcome back it's roger with muskrat adventures and as you can tell i am not on the water i wish i was and as crazy as it is to be working on the boat in may as i'm reminded a few times had to be done i had a uh, transom issue again um I don't know what's going on. This rear end's been replaced with Kusa board, and uh, folks that put the board in didn't put enough backing behind the bolts, and the bolts kind of pulled through the Kusa board, allowed that back wall to flex, and uh, just broke on me a couple times over the last two years. So I took it to a fella who, uh, I don't know, you can tell there, added a couple brackets up on the top side, uh, welded this piece of aluminum in here. This is quarter inch thick. And instead of uh, welding it, just been uh, bent, broke over there and there, added some supports. But uh, that's not why I decided to hop on here today. Um, honestly, what I hopped on here for was uh, putting the floor in. And uh, I was going to kind of do a little product review. As proud as I am is this little uh, air riveter. Hang on, I got a box here for it. That right there has saved the day. Uh, I actually bought that last year when I had this thing out and decided just to replace the whole floor this year. Uh, once I had everything out of it, it was just smarter to do it and get it over with. But uh, super easy. So those of you that have thought about maybe putting new flooring in, whether it be aluminum, this is uh, wood uh, painted with aluminum paint, thinking it would be not shiny, but it's shiny. Um, but it's super easy. So, uh, all I've done is I've gone through, you can maybe see in the video here, I got a chalk line uh, that I ran down through these boards and um, I measured off so it looked a little more uniform and I uh, went through and um, I'm using quarter inch uh, size pop rivets and quarter inch drill bit and basically just drilling down through all the well I've already drilled these drill through stick your pop rivet in take your air riveter push it down in there on the rivet and pull the trigger it pops out Nice and pretty. Now, I'm too clumsy to I'm too clumsy to do too many of these at once, but until I let's order a big bag online and uh, go down through here and push these rivets in. Push it down on there. Done. Next one. It's kind of like that. So, if you've been uh, thinking about maybe taking on a, a project of your own, um, you know, don't be scared to jump in and, sorry. Uh, don't be scared to jump in and just do it. I started out, I just wanted to move my center console from the middle of the boat uh, and move it up towards the front of the boat, which I'm working on. As you can tell, it's a part right there. And then running all my controls uh, up underneath the gunnel, which is why I had to pull the floor out. Um, Originally, the, con the, co the, the controls and wiring all ran underneath the floor all the way straight back to the back. Um, and in order to move the console over, uh, I had to pull it all out. So uh, now I'm running everything up underneath there. It's a hot mess. Believe it or not, I know where every one of the wires go. Uh, so just working on cleaning it up, getting stuff run up underneath the gunnel. 
uh, seeing just how much cable, steering cable and throttle cable I got left. Uh, see how far forward I can push this thing, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick, quick update on where we was at on the muskrat. I know I'm a hot mess, but uh, I'm trying to get her done. So uh, hopefully uh, somebody sees that and was debating maybe uh, going the rivet route on uh, on a project and uh, that little air riveter. Uh, I can't remember how much it cost. Can't be a whole lot because I'm cheap. But uh, there you go. Check it out. Get out in the water. Get you another muskrat adventure. I'm out. Hey, I decided to kind of go through, show a couple holes here, uh, just for those of you wondering how bad it is. Just drill them through the wood. Once you hit the aluminum, drill all the way through the aluminum. Get you a good hole. Get your rivets in. That's it. Easy peasy. And uh, in case you weren't familiar with that name brand, uh, that is a Harbor Freight exclusive. So, anyway, hopefully it's uh, find somebody that uh, debating on doing a project and decides to just go ahead and go for it. I'm no professional. This is not a uh, this is not a how-to. This is how I am doing it. Uh, right or wrong. Muskrat out.